Welcome to my channel. I am going to do five requested reactions tonight, and that's all I'm going to do because the first one I have is 24 minutes long. It is Danelia Tulashova, and the song is Tide, but this is a behind the scenes video. The requester wrote, This is a video behind the scenes of the creation of Tide, creating the story and the music and then recording it. So, uh, but it's 24 minutes long. That's, I, I, I had it queued up to do last night and when I saw how long it was, I thought, no, I can't do that right now. But I've, I've got to do it. It's been requested and so that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, I want to thank you for coming to my channel and for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. And remind you that I always put the links to the artists in the description of my videos so that you can support them. And one of the ways you can support them is by buying their music, if you like their music. So this is Danelia Tulashova, behind the scenes creation of the song Tide. Like, I was not like I was oh. not. It's just like a producer just like was were giving me songs, mm -hmm. and I didn't really have an opportunity to just, like, change something in, in a song. When I started like singing when I was a kid, and uh, at first I really really liked it. I thought that that's the thing I really want to do for the rest of my life. And then uh, just because like all the pressure like came in, and um, like the money also, and it was just like not when I was like twelve. It was just like my Songwriting trip, songwriting trip. <laughs> Bro, 
remember being oh offline, but you're like low key oh, offline. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh my like, goodness. Yes, I can. It's my oh, best. I just remember like <laughs> wanting this, this boy <laughs> would later turn out to be my first boyfriend to think I was cool. Mm. So I would always put um, in my status music with sw like swears in the title because mm. I wanted him to think I was bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think he okay. thought that about me. <laughs> no statuses though? Oh, statuses were it. Yeah. Mic yeah, check. Right. One, two. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, is this <laughs> auditor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good? He's like, good. I don't need that. <laughs> All right, Danielle, you want to come in the booth just for a sec? I just want to get the, the mic set up to your Thank you. All right. Okay, cool. Right, cool. Perfect. And let me see the headphone levels are good, too. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. We all set. So where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan, in Asia. Oh, shit. I know, I know zero about that. <laughs> I know yeah, nothing I about that, so you gotta tell me, like, what's it like out there? It's like near Russia, so we speak, all speak Russian, so it's okay. so many Okay, your English is really good, though. Thank you. Where'd you learn? Uh, Stuck in, in school? school? Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. impressive. Well, well, she's been living in the States also for the last yeah. few years. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely pick up some English out there, too. Because, like... <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> it's like, I know people that, like, took French in school, but they, they don't sound like that. What are we feeling, man? I, I mean, um, I know Ross told me about like kind of like your your music journey so far, about like how you've like had some songs out, but you're not completely like all the way a hundred about them. No, I, I I a little hated them. Like I didn't even want to promote them. So like this time, I just want to like put all my soul in it so that I will personally like it too. For sure. So so what what's what's some music that you're really drawn to? Like what's some music that like really like resonates in your soul? I want to do this like uh, like dark music, like the weekend vibes, um, and all those like hard beats too. So. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's dope. Yeah. That's sick. When you were making music before, uh, what was it like? I was not like I was oh. not. Like, it's just like a producer just like was were giving me songs, mm -hmm. and I didn't really have an opportunity to just, like change something in in a song, oh. or just like say no. Okay. So, I was just like, like models, just like put on clothes. I was just like singing. Uh, so yeah. Hmm. Well, what do you want to talk about today then? Yeah. Let's make this about what you want to say. <laughs> I think since about like it's probably gonna be like something dark, mm -hmm. like dark instrumentals and everything. Um, <laughs> so special. <laughs> Um, I think um, I want to like write about. Uh, do you know the song um, like Daddy Issues? I gotta go back. Sorry. Like it's like it's probably gonna be like something dark, mm -hmm. like dark instrumentals and everything. Um, <laughs> so special. <laughs> okay, I wanted to be able to read this. Um, I think, um, I want to, like, write about, um, do you know the song, like, Daddy Issues? By Neighborhood? Um, yeah. no, I don't know, but yes. Uh, but yeah, uh, so, um, I just want to write about, not the same thing, but, like, about my mom, too. Okay. And just, like, maybe, um, that's why I played this song, uh, by Melanie, and she just, like, has a lot of those, like, some type of those songs like dollhouse too um that are just like expressing um the trauma that you got but in a, like in a in a f like playful way got it know? okay so let's talk about your trauma yeah, <laughs> with your mom. yeah it's not like I, ha I got like a lot of trauma or something okay. no i'm good it's just like i just want to write about this but in like a funny play playful way not funny but like fun yeah a little lighthearted. So yeah it's not like super dark 100 yeah, percent yeah, yeah. I think that's a good way to talk about trauma sometimes. It makes mm -hmm. it more easy to wrap your head around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell us a bit. You mentioned mommy issues. Is there like something there mm -hmm. you want to talk about or like a story there that comes to mind when you think of that? Do you, um, do you want to have the cameras off for a bit? No, no, no. Do this? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, maybe. Um, so basically, 
uh, a lot of artists does that thing, so they just like compare themselves. For example, like um, Melanie wrote about a dollhouse, like she's like a doll yeah. or something. Yes. Um, yeah, I want to do like something like that cool. and just like uh, write about how like all the pressure and just like Chris, Chris, like Chris, criticism, criticism mm -hmm. just like kind of like it's not like does not allow you to like move and do something that you want to do because you just feel like your you know destination is already like decided for you you know oh interesting so something like that and just like add some metaphors mm -hmm. and everything to just like kind of express it okay that's a that's a cool like perspective like feeling like at the end the goal has already been set yeah. for you yeah and you don't have and any yeah kind of like you can decide for yourself what you actually right. want to do okay i don't normally stop videos in the middle of them but i just gotta stop this one because this is driving me crazy like 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 you youngsters, you've got to learn how to speak English. You, like is a filler word. You use that because your your mind isn't putting together the thoughts quickly enough for you. And so to fill in that empty space that you feel is there, you say like. But you don't have to do that. You can just pause like this. See? You just pause. You don't have to say I like, want to like, do that thing like, you know, like some people do. It's crazy. And it drives me up the walls. Sorry, but I'm a perfectionist. Okay. So I'm having to grit my teeth to watch this. Because every single one of them's doing it. They're all young. They're all doing it. And when, for example, it's actually the time for you to like think what you want to do and like your opinions just like allow you to choose your destination. You just don't know what to do because your whole life you've just been controlled oh. and now you just like can decide for yourself because your mind is like, you know, restrict. Of course, because you're, right. used, you're used to people making choices yeah. for you, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like we both wrote down this word when you were just saying that, like, you know what a puppet is? Like a, like a puppet on a string? Yeah. It doesn't, like, stand up straight yeah. or, like, falls to the yeah. ground, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really interesting. Okay. Okay. Libran has her thinking face. I do. I have my thinking... My thinking... thinking my thinking... <laughs> it's just here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking my nose. I swear. Are you sure? <laughs> Well, puppet, I feel like, is the first metaphor that comes to mind when you're, like, mm -hmm. controlling someone. Yeah. Um, is there, like, maybe we can, like, try and think of a few more and then pick yeah. what feels like it resonates with you? So there's, like, puppet, stalls. Yeah. Um. Which also plays into that, like, childhood feeling of being young as well and, like, can be kind of playful as well in a dark way, which mm -hmm. is cool. Mm -hmm. um, what are other things that you, like... I mean, the whole predetermined fate. <coughs> mm. Thing is really cool. Like, I think language around that would be really cool. Like, the goal is set, and I'm like, st and I'm stuck wa walking towards it. When I started, like, singing when I was a kid, and uh, at first I really, really liked it. I thought that that's the thing I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And then, uh, just because, like, all the pressure, like, came in, and, um, like, the money also, and it was just, like, not, when I was, like, 12, it was just, like, my work, it's, it was not, like, my whole hobby or something, oh. and it's kind of, like, when, you know, you get into it as a kid, um, you just, like, don't want to do this thing anymore, and then, since you've started it at such a young age, you, like, have to keep going, because that's what, you know, parents' expectations are.
Like, you can do whatever you, like, want to do with yourself and your life, and, like, in my perspective, in my humble opinion, but I can imagine that pressure's really, really builds up. It's kind of like the last song, like, the Billie Eilish from the Barbie movie. She was just, like, she actually wrote the song because she didn't want to, like, keep singing anymore. And, yeah, that's kind of, like... That's, uh, What Was I Made For, right? Yeah, What Was I Made For. Yeah, some drums. Yeah. The neighborhood just made me think, like, right? Mm -hmm. Same yeah. kind of vibes. home bop is my fave. <laughs> Imagine making $453,000 in a single month as an affiliate marketer without relying Yeah. What? Oh my god, I'm writing it at the top. <laughs> First song ever. <laughs> First song slash session ever. <laughs> That's insane. Exciting. Yeah. Oh, and tomorrow is our second. Yeah. Song slash session yeah. ever. When did you get in? Um, like, like in Toronto. Oh, in Toronto. Um, two days ago. Two days ago. What's up, guys? Hi. Nothing. We just wrote a song. <laughs> it's done. That was fast. Yeah. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> He's, I know, he's wow. killing it. Just zoned in. So, like, cinematic. <laughs> Spooky. Make sure to get my beautiful bowl of food in this. Oh, of course. <laughs> I don't cook. And this is me cooking. <laughs> when you want the song to be about something super personal, mm -hmm. and like, okay. just having to talk to people and being like, no, yeah. this yeah. is the hard thing I don't know how to yeah. talk about. But I'm really happy you're happy. I'm so, so excited to hear you sing it. So what was, like, what was the big difference between, like, living at home and living with well, well, well. yeah. parents? <laughs> True. Yeah, but it feels like I have so much freedom. But not too much. All right, you want to head in the booth? Give it, give it a shot. Wow. Good luck. <clears throat>
times I feel so empty I can't hold myself up The pressure overwhelms me Who am I to run? Pull the strings to be tight That sounds amazing already. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get let, let's get a couple of parts. Let's get them right. Um. Earlier, really, I feel like if we do a third chorus, I feel like that would be a bit like mm -hmm. putting too much desserts on the plate. If that makes sense. It's like. <laughs> So you know what I'm saying? It's like you want you want like a small little piece of cheesecake and you're like, ah, if you put like a big ass, people are not gonna finish it. So it's like I feel like if you um if we would do like a bridge slash outro or bridge and outro, one of the two. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Yeah. yeah. I kinda think you're right. Like for some reason I want the song to get really big now, but I don't know if it's like big vocally. Just like That's dope. Like how we have multiple layers on the first one, and then the second one kind of doesn't have those layers to really bring yeah. the intis in intimacy out. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, but that little extra layer you just added down on well, is just the right amount. So let, let's try that. Later, like yeah. We'll find out that's it. That's right. Okay. Oh, you're good. You can you can come up. Oh. Amazing. Come out. Wow, you're so amazing. Insane. You. You're fucking insane. sick, dude. <laughs> what does it feel like to sing what you sing? <laughs> 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 yeah. It's like, whatever. She's like, yeah, it's no. whatever, guys. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is so day. much, though. <laughs> oh, whatever, no, thank cool. you. Thanks for being really good. Amazing. Wow. Sound incredible. Thank you. Love it. Thank yeah. You. So good. <laughs> it's great. pretty amazing. Yeah, you sound incredible. Great song. Thank yeah. You. Great song. Great lyrics. Great melodies. Everything. Great yeah, production. <laughs> And mixing and and and. Wow. It's a good. It's a good. Incredible. Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Awesome. Amazing. Right. So, um, tomorrow we're back in same room. Yeah. Same room, same time. Okay. 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 Beautiful. So I'm just we'll leaving. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait. So that's fantastic. This is me now at 43. Healed my eight years of back pain after having kids. Became a contortionist in three and a half. Nah, nah, we don't fuck with your blood type. No, I must be like poison or something. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, just thinking. That girl can sing. That, girl, that I can tell you. That girl can sing. So day one's a wrap. Small promotion. <laughs> Yeah. 
very beautiful. <laughs> we are all. Oh my god, thank oh, you. So nice thank to you. meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So have so nice. a great day. <laughs> 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 oh my god, my lip gloss fucking I'm very happy to meet you. We'll see you tomorrow. How do you feel? Your first song. <laughs> Duh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did it mm -hmm. officially. officially. Nothing else to say. It's just you're so good. Okay, very good. Okay, nothing to be scared. It was, it's just the generous of the first session. You know, yeah. Like, yeah, but like this is first to many, right? So um, you know, it's always. Something you have to kind of take to the groove. You know, it takes a little bit. Oh, yeah. Good to you. But one thing you don't have to worry about is your performance, because <laughs> like you got it. Like, like a lot of the things that you're doing technically, like on the technical standpoint, is this shit that like so many artists I work with, like they they get it. But like the, the few little things that I want to point them to, like they just, they, they just can't execute. Like it, 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 it comes very natural to you. How long have you been singing for? Since you're old. Since like 11, 10. Ground floor. Well, it shows. <laughs> you're old, how old now? Uh, I just turned 17. Going up. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Who <laughs> that girl? Wow. Ah, so many thoughts. Wow. Let's see if I can remember them all. I I I know that some people write music on their own, and I know that some people write music in a collaborative effort. But I've never seen that done. I've never seen the the nuts and bolts of it like this, and that's really interesting. It's. Uh, if you think about it, it took at least three extra people to write that song. Uh, I wish we could have hit the, heard the song. We, we we heard parts of it, but not the whole thing. But uh, we'll probably do that another day, I'm sure. Um, I thought it was interesting that the way that they approached it was to ask her what she was thinking and then tease out how those thoughts could be turned into metaphors and into a song. Um, those people obviously have some experience doing this. They've done it before. And so they were very helpful for Danelia writing her first song I don't, uh, I don't really, what am I trying to say? Um, I don't really understand the process, I guess. Uh, in my head, I had this idea that when you write a song you just get inspiration you sit and you write it down you plunk it out on the guitar and you figure it out and obviously um, that's one way of doing it but that's not the way that 
this was done, they, uh, I mean, they planned it ahead of time. They actually scheduled a session or sessions to write a song. I've never seen that done before. That's that's really fascinating. Um, the the comment that the guy made at the end about how she has mastered the technical issues and some other singers don't seem to get that was interesting to me. I've never heard that said before about a singer. Of course, we're getting behind the scenes, so we're getting stuff that we wouldn't otherwise know about. But it was a fascinating look into uh, how the sausage is made, if you will, an old idiom. And uh, a fascinating look into Danelia as an artist and how she thinks and what she thinks about. And, you know, I thought at one point when she was talking about why she was doing this, she talked about how she felt restricted by her previous arrangements and how other people had placed restrictions or expectations on her of what she was supposed to do. And that made me think about so many young artists when they first get into the business, they get ramrodded, if you will, by people who've been in the business a while and think they know the best thing for this person without actually even getting to know the person first to find out what it is that person wants to do. And I can't imagine the pressure that that has to place on you. And she talked about it. I, I, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. It's not in my nature to have someone else telling me what I'm going to do. I just would rebel instantly against it. And I've done that all my life. Uh, I, I have uh, walked out of jobs just because I disagreed with the way that they were running the business. And I said, I don't want to be a part of this. Uh, that's just me. That's That's who I am. I'm a very independent-minded, very strong-willed person. And I think about those young artists. If they don't have a strong will, if they don't have, or they haven't developed their independence yet, it's got to be tough. It's got to be tough because the expectation is that you will perform and perform and keep performing over and over again because you have to make them money that's the reality of it you have to make the money if you can't make the money they're going to drop you and that's a different kind of pressure than most people are under and particularly when you're talking about people who are artists they're the artistic temperament is wanting to be free and wanting to do their own thing and now you're taking them you're sticking them into a box and you're saying this is your box stay in here and do what we tell you to do you have the talent we're going to show you how to use it and i just can't imagine what that's like. I can see where it could lead to people getting out of the business, just quitting entirely. I could see where it could lead to suicide. And I know just on this channel alone, we have seen some artists who were very young who committed suicide. And I have a feeling that there was an element of this involved in that, of the pressure of having to perform I'm going to I'm going to say this but please don't take it the wrong way like a monkey like a monkey with an organ grinder your job is to perform that's your job we tell you what to do we schedule the interviews we schedule the concerts 
You just do what we tell you to do. And inside your little tiny realm, you get to perform and, and do what you do best, which is to sing. Gotta be just really frustrating and really demoralizing. And you could see that in the way that the things that she talked about, the way that she was describing her thoughts was that she was really demoralized by that process and she felt she had to get away. And so that's what she did. And, you know, more power to her. I mean, at least Danelia has enough will to say, I I'm done with this. I'm going my own way. I'm going to do my thing. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Some artists can't, can't do that or won't do it. And they spend a lifetime. I mean, I watched a, uh, I watched an Alice Cooper interview on, on, uh, TBN where he talked about how he would go backstage and he would look at the uniform that he wore when he sang and he would start crying because he didn't want to do it anymore. But he knew he had to. You know, you got to give these kids credit. They, they put up with a lot of crap. And yet they still produce beautiful music. This was a fascinating look into behind the scenes into Danelia's life and her motivations and her desires and her thoughts about her future. I really enjoyed watching it and I hope you did too. I know it was long but uh, actually it didn't really seem all, all that long to me. Anyway, that was a, an interesting way to start the night. <laughs> that was my first uh, requested reaction. And I'll be doing four more. But before I do that, I do want to thank you for coming here. And thank you for supporting me. And I want to pray for you. I pray that tonight, when you go to sleep, that you will sleep soundly. You will get a good night's rest. And you'll wake up in the morning refreshed and ready to start a new day. I pray that for every human being on earth. This is the Vietnam Era Bet, out.